If you're making vaccines or any biologics, we have your single-use container solution right here. Let's go. We're here in Logan, Utah, and we're focused on bioprocess production. Here with me is Don Young. He's an expert in this area, our senior product manager of bioprocess containers. Don, we want to talk about the technology behind these containers and the range of containers we're offering customers. The technology is very, very important. The most important part of this here bag is the film. This film used was specifically designed for bioprocess applications. Most films are relics or remnants of the food industry. It may work great for ketchup, but it does not work good for active pharmaceutical ingredients. The product sizes range from the very, very small, 50 milliliters, to the very, very large, over 3,000 liters, which is even about a third larger than the vessel you see behind me, which is a 2,000 liter. The applications are also as vast, from simple collection to bioreaction to the harvest of the active pharmaceutical ingredient out of the bioreactor onward to fractionation, purification, and, and final fills. We were first to the market. Our first step into this market was 1989. Last year, 2010, we made over a million chambers and almost 700,000 finished assemblies. So a million of these things and 700,000 of the systems themselves. So Don, talk about the technology and range of products that we offer. Customizing is the name of the game for us. We do most of our business as custom designs. We have over 5,000 designs. Our customers work in a highly, probably the most highly regulated industry in the world. And those regulations pass directly to us. It's important that they have a product that's fully validated and qualified. We have a lot of different components on these things. We need to qualify each one of the components that goes into building one of these systems. And then we get to the big, big issue, which is assurance of supply. For instance, the year before when there was an H1N1 pandemic, some of our biggest customers were the vaccine producers that were producing H1N1 vaccine. And we had to assure them that they would have continuity of supply without any risk of any shortages or delays. Thus, we have two continent manufacturing, redundant manufacturing, which is critical to our customers. And we're talking the who's who in biopharma and, bio and pharmaceuticals. Uh, the largest of the large pharma companies are our customers. Learn more. Check out thermoscientific.com slash bioproduction.